here you can see I've maximized the sequencer view and you can see the song data that represents the musical score that I've already entered so far. I'm actually going to do this recording in block mode which allows me to record short blocks of maybe a couple bars that I could use uh, repetitively within the song. Down at the bottom you can see is the transport bar. Here there's a click track and pre button that's for the pre count. Because I'm in block mode I won't need to use this loop button over here because it'll automatically loop once it reaches the end of the block. If I were in song mode I could set my left and right markers and you can see up here in the ruler and if I wanted to loop to cycle between those that's what that loop button would be used for.